everyone so I wanted to do another one of those videos that are kind of minimalizing each room um, I recently done my kitchen and my bedroom is awful I have so much stuff I just have too much stuff and I wanted to go through my wardrobe cosmetics just my cupboards and just get rid of stuff that I don't use I keep so much stuff I, I always think to myself oh I use that and literally some things have been sat in my wardrobe or sat in my cosmetic drawers or whatever for years like years honestly so I'm really gonna be really harsh and just just get rid of it um because I'm just sick of having so much stuff around all the time and stuff falling out of cupboards and I'm stuffing things in and yeah so yeah, I will leave my uh, minimalization video on our kitchen down below if you fancy watching that. Um, I did actually have to take the music off it though, which is frustrating. So it won't have any music because for some, some reason my music wasn't allowed. I'm going to start off with this unit over here, which pretty much holds majority of my stuff. Graham does have the second drawer down. Graham does, does have half, he's put like a divider in, so he has half his underwear, half my underwear. That is pretty much that, but the rest is mine. So I'm going to tackle that first. And it's just jammed, honestly. Bags down here ready for cosmetics. And then I've also got a few, a, a bag full of shoes because they do like the shoe um, charity bins and then a bag for clothes as well. So this is my cosmetics just some of them <laughs> um yeah i keep sort of makeup bags and muslin cloths um and there's just loads of cosmetics over here that i just don't really use um i just have too much really so i'm gonna just sieve through this lot first <laughs> I've done I haven't done a massive amount like this side I took um, a couple of um, sort of travel bags out because it's just a couple I just don't use and I just you know there's only so many you need so uh, yeah this side is pretty usable and stuff that I use all the time it's kind of open and accessible to hairbrushes or whatever I do actually have another hairbrush that goes in there but we have some um, spare toothbrushes and stuff when we travel uh, got some makeup pads I added in um, a couple of new sunglasses in here because this one was empty I've got another pair there uh, this looks a bit messy but it's basically just full of like travel size or minis of stuff so whether it's shampoo shower gels just some stuff that I use you know hand cream I had loads of moisturizers that I don't use but um, a couple of these this one and this one are half empty so I'm going to use those up this one is kind of I don't know it's, it's a little bit used and I actually really like this one um, I want to use that one after uh, we've got some what's that after sun goodbye oh, I don't know why I'm keeping that I didn't I don't really like that it's a really weird formula the gel it kind of leaves you feeling really sticky um so I'm not going to keep that I actually used this the other day it's like a vanilla brulee shimmer lotion this is really nice for if you're going out so I, I'm going to keep that and then I've got my contact lenses down here and then my strong migraine tablets so yeah not too bad and I'll show you what I'm getting rid of so this is stuff that I'm going to give to people that haven't been open or used and then this is just stuff that's half used that I don't like um, and just a load of rubbish as well a couple of things that I want to try which I completely forgot about that I got sent so I'm going to put them by my en suite so I'm going to actually give them a go uh, this is kind of t-shirts different types of tops yeah, this is kind of like overloaded. I have so 
many tops you know you just think why do I have so many I don't wear half of them I've got a couple of new ones like new basics that I like to bring in because you know basics go a little bit gray after a while um I've got some of my favorite jewels tops and then I've just got yeah I've got a lot of stuff that I need to get rid of basically that I haven't worn in a long time There's so much less that was in here. It was bursting full. So I've done like long sleeve, thicker, because the jewels ones are pretty thick. You can kind of even put a vest up underneath. So I've got a couple of jewels ones and that one's a Ralph Lauren. Um, so I've got those there. And then I've got some more like, these are kind of like a little bit more summery dressery, dressery tops that I could dress up for evenings wearing through the summer. Um, but I don't have the hanging space. So Pretty much most of these need ironing when I pull out, but they're just slightly more daintier, prettier tops. I've got them there, and then I've pretty much got my basics, which I do have quite a lot, but I do wear general t-shirts every day. The top there, so that is that. I've got my whole pile of stuff that I am uh, gonna, well, I'm probably gonna let my sisters go through this stuff, actually, because like this dress I haven't worn before, but honestly, I just, I'm just not, not liking it and it's a bit tiny to be honest it's a bit short for me so I think my 14 year old sister might like that so yeah I've got a few things I've got quite a lot here actually that they can go through and so this drawer is like uh, full to bursting I've got a few new bits in here and this is basically like swimwear and pajamas pajamas loungewear So much better um, I basically got pajama sets here that just have tops and bottoms and I've got two pairs of shorts some fluffy socks which are needed uh, two nighties and then I've got three pajama tops I think I already have one in the wash and then I've got three pairs of sort of comfy uh, PJ trousers thing you need loungewear um, Graham really doesn't have wear PJs he just wears underwear or naked um, <laughs> so yeah he's got for when we go away he's basically got like a shorts and t-shirt set if he wants to wear that and he also has his new new Christmassy pyjamas which are at the bottom which are the elf ones but he's got those trunks um, shorts there which are navy and then I'm going to put uh, one in the um, airing cupboard as well because obviously we've got our own pool and then over here I've got my swim cover-ups beach cover-ups I've got four of those a little bit obsessive but I think they're handy and yeah this one's like a sarong so I've got those and then these are all my um, bikinis I've got quite a few bikinis and a couple I think I've got th two yeah two um, swimsuits so yeah I mean, look how much better I can actually shut the door. I've got plenty of room in there. And this is the chaos that I've got rid of. What a result. So this cupboard is awful, <laughs> to say the least. So up there is actually quite organized. Um, I did do this. This is Graham's clothing section. This is all the stuff apart from like formal stuff. Um, his cosmetics, literally all he uses apart from shampoo and shower gel and toothbrush. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much okay, fine. And then we go on to extra cosmetics, loads of nail polishes. And to be honest, lately, um, the last few months I've been getting shellac, so I haven't even been using any of that. Um, so yeah, I think I, I think I might leave it for now because I think it might be a bit too much of a challenge, and I don't want to get rid of them all. Um, but yes, yeah, like girly bits at the back. But this is just, 
Like, it's just so much stuff. I don't even use it. I don't even use half of this hair stuff either. I'm so lazy with my hair. Um, we've got loads of contact solution. I used to have monthlies and now I have dailies, so I don't even use it. Um, some freebies that were sent to me that I just don't know what to do with because they're not really useful. Okay, those two are useful, but that's not. Um, and, yeah, this is basically shorts and jeans. Crazy amount. And then we've got bags down here, which, again, I could probably go through and some travel random stuff at the back there. So I think I'm going to start here first. it looks really really gutted it um i had so many girly bits like you, know, you just think why do i need so much tampax i put some on sweet put some in the family bathroom for you know if people are there so um yeah and i just sorted out hair products there's a couple bits i use like mousse i use um dry shampoo and i've just got a, like a spray um sun oil there and then my perfumes that i use as well as this is just jewellery and sentimental bits. Um, my watch, my Skagen watch, and then Graham's extra wedding ring, which he's never worn because he's never needed to wear. He got like a titanium band. And then I've left this pretty much the same. I've just put some hairbands in here because this section was empty. Um, yeah, so that is that. And then I've got glasses here, which I don't wear and I don't really know what to do with. I don't know if spec savers would take them back or I don't know. Do you know what I mean? You just... What do you do with them when y your prescription has changed and you don't really like the frames anymore? I've got so many sunglasses. I don't know what's my obsession, but I've got so many that I'm just going to give away. That's going actually in my cupboard over there for my with my hair tools. Uh, some face masks. We've got some jewellery. Some of this stuff is like brand new that um, I can just give away. I've got a button drawer, so I'm going to give that. I'm going to put that in my button box, sorry. Um, stuff that I just don't use. I don't know what to do with DKNY watch that I just don't wear. And then I've got some of these mummy necklaces, which are like teething ones for babies. So I might give them to my friend. Yeah. So I've got my whole big bag of rubbish. And yeah, I think I've done pretty well with that one. I'm using a bit of daylight, but I'm going to tackle this section now, which is shorts, trousers, jeans, stuff. Cosmetic-y stuff that I don't need or need to put in the right places. better I I do have a lot of jeans I must admit it is a bit excessive but as I stay at home mum I do get through them and it just stays washing them constantly I do tend to just switch a pair up every day so um yeah and I've brought my all my shorts out see for summer I've got cut two new pairs at the top so this is basically shorts for like evening summer evenings and then obviously daytimes or whatever um I sorted out the um, ties and all the gloves and hats I had in here I kept one faux fur sort of shawl and one pair of gloves and then Graham's ties are literally on top of that my tights are at the back yeah so I've got like my navy blue jeans here I think I've got a pair in the wash and I've got a pair on um, and then I've got my evening ones my sort of summery ones and then grey 
And then these ones are like my mom jeans, boyfriend or girlfriend fit jeans, and then my dungarees on top. So yeah, it's looking a lot tidier. And then I'm going to do this one now. This is the stuff that I pulled out. So this is just a stuff, loads of stuff that I'm going to put in the charity bag and also for my sisters. And then I've got tights that are just really, really old, fluffy. I'm not going to wear them. I've got too many, actually. And then this stuff, I'm actually going to just move around the house and put in different places, like shampoo, and then get use of these things, and then my contact lenses I need. I'm going to see what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to check the dates on them. Uh, see, that one's in date. So you see what the dates are, and potentially I might see if they will take them back, maybe for free, because they're all sealed, or even find a friend that might have them. <laughs> So this one is done, um, I got rid of lots of bags, like lots, but I still have quite a lot because I do like my bags. Um, I've left my old Achille one out, I have my big one out already, just because they're the most used I think, so I always leave those out. And then this one is pretty much, I would say, day bags, so slightly more lighter in colour and ones that I generally use during the day, so I've got my tan one in here as well tan satchel, my jewels, my two jewels ones and this little tiny pouch that I've kept. And then this one is like my travel one. If I'm staying over a friend's for a night, I'll just use this one. This is by Forelli, I think. Um, yeah. And this is basically evening bag. So clutches, um, just I literally have a blue one, this metallic-y one and a black one as well. In the corner, we've got that red case is basically full of travel cosmetics and extra sun cream and stuff which I will pull out when we go away and then I have my sw this is basically what I use for swimming it's basically like a, a little waterproof pouch that I pop in our swim bag for like ha hair wash stuff and Graham's stuff's at the back there just a little wash bag and then I've got my button box <laughs> and then I've just got some loose change here which sometimes I use for when we go to car beat cell so yeah this cupboard is pretty much complete and I'm so happy it looks so much clearer um, and look at the chaos around me oh, I still need now for the wardrobe this is never a good task because to be perfectly honest I've only just recently the last few weeks pulled out my spring summer stuff but I just have too much in here I just oh. um, yeah there's a lot here. I think I just need to be brutal and think, really, do I really need, like, <laughs> this many shirts that pretty much look identical. Um... going to give it to my sisters so I think they'll probably keep most of it so if I ever wanted something to back to borrow I think I could probably just find it from them but I just don't go for any of those things I just don't grab them it's not my most used clothes so yeah my, my shirts are kind of like my main go-to thing um, especially like the non-sleeve ones over summer and then these ones are great just for layering um, this is kind of a newy sort of top and then my dresses um, I might be brutal after summer and get rid of them, if rid of some if I haven't worn them. And I've kept some jackets because I just think jackets are just essential for all year round. So I've kept a few cardies, just basic navy, the tan colour, the dust, and but not least though, but 
probably for maybe for this video because it's just too, I'm worried it's going to be too long. It's my shoes. Excessive, definitely. I did kind of go through them a couple of months ago. Um, but obviously years ago I used to go out. I used to have a different pair of coloured, like high heel shoes for every outfit. And now I still have a lot of shoes, heels, that I just don't wear because I don't ever go out. And if I do go out... I stick to like really comfy wedges or just a black pair of shoes just to go with everything. So yeah, again, I'm going to be brutal and just go through what I have. Some obviously are a bit more sentimental if I've had them for years or if I've put them away as their boots. Um, these storage boxes, I think they're from eBay. They come flat pack. They are quite handy, but they can be a little bit annoying. Um, these ones are from Ikea. <laughs> Some, these are basically evening shoes that I've kept, which I really like. Black ones with a little bit of leopard print. And then I've got two Chelsea boots. These ones from this year and those ones I did get this year, but I haven't really, I've only worn them maybe twice. So like new, so I'm going to leave those for next winter. Um, I've got some sandals and some Havianas, which are a must. And I do actually have two more pairs of sandals, but these are tan and I just... They just go with everything and I just love them. They're so comfy. Got some nude nude um, court shoes, which I've only just worn and I, they go with everything. I've got the leopard print boots I got from Asdab over the winter. I love them. I, so I've got a thing about leopard. If I wear like all black or something, I just think it just adds something. I haven't actually worn these recently, but again, these are from Primark and I just love them. And they're so comfy as well. So I'm going to keep those. Um, these are a little pair of wedges. Again, I wore those over the when we went to Bath, and they're just so comfy. They're the most comfy, and they go with everything because they're tan and black. These I just want to keep because I love them. Um, they're just really cute tie around the um, ankle, and they're just really comfy as well. They are nude, so they do go with a lot of things. And then lastly, my black pair of John Lewis boots, which is my only black pair of Chelsea boots style shoes and sometimes I wear them through the winter with dresses and I've had them for years so I'm keeping those and that is pretty much what I'm keeping and then this is the excess amount that I'm getting rid of which I think is pretty good. I've got loads of different boots that I just have not worn honestly I haven't worn these in about two years probably. Um, I've got a couple of pairs of court shoes which just what's the point keeping like three or four pairs I might as well just get rid of it give them to my sisters um again another pair of those wedges which I just don't wear so, but yeah that's a lot better so yeah I'm really pleased with how brutal I've been I've been um well now my whole room is covered and Graham's going to be like what the hell have you been doing I need to like organize my piles get stuff gone out of this house and I just feel relieved and it just yeah and at least it's going to the people that can actually use it which I'm sure they will and it's nice just to give stuff to charity as well especially because obviously I have an excessive amount I have a shopping problem although a lot of this stuff to be perfectly honest I've had for years years and years and years and I just I don't know I keep stuff but I just don't wear it, so it's just pointless. Um, I've managed to get my room back to Norman, and I've just got literally bags and bags of stuff waiting to go to charity, but everything by the front door ready for tomorrow, so I can just give it away. Um, so yeah, I really hope this gives you some inspiration, and let me know if you're decluttering, minimalising your house. Although I'm not necessarily at all a minimalist, obviously, because I do have still quite an excessive amount of stuff, I feel like I've literally got rid of so much and I generally have much more room which is good um so yeah I hope it's giving you some inspiration anyway if you're needing to sort of get off your butt and actually sort some you know rooms out or a certain area of your house um yeah and I'll catch up with you soon